Hello everyone. Several people requested that I demonstrate how to build a rodent coil. Today I will be showing you how to do that. You will need one of these Fisher Price baby toy sets. You can get these at Toys R Us. They're made by Mattel. To start off, you can take one of the rings off. You'll see a slight logo right along here. You will want to cut this off with a Stanley knife just so that the surface is as smooth as possible. Make sure you do not cut into the ring as you'll damage it. Uh, you could also just sand this off. After you have done that, you can start building the coil. You will need 36 pins. They come in these little packages, just this small size here. You will need these for spacing out the gaps on your coil. There are 10 degree gaps all over the coil. You can see from this diagram here. So these would be the pins. You will want your coil to basically look like this. This is 36 pins in here. And they all need to be evenly spaced. This is what you're aiming for. This first coil I built is made up of 18 wines. Um, on each individual coil. A single rodent coil is actually made up of two coils. See, uh, one is starting there, and then the other one is here. Probably the best idea is to hot glue this straight onto here. You need to make sure that everything is aligned so that this is aligned with the center and that everything is equal. As you can see the glue has now dried, I can start putting the pins in. But this one is the next size up on the stack. So I will be doing 27 wines on each coil. So now that this is hot glued on, the reason I use hot glue by the way is that this is fully removable, uh, we will start placing the pins in. You want to start by placing uh, a pin right along the 90 degree line. So just right on that one. And we will do that, we'll place a pin right on the seam. Now I've placed this first pin in, you can place on either side. So we started at 90 degrees, so the next pin we will put at 80 degrees, uh, as you, and then 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. So every 10 degrees. You want to try and be as accurate as possible because spacing is very important for the number of wines we'll fit on. For this one, I may have to actually remove some of the pins to fit 27 wines in. This is what the, the coil should look like after you've done one side. When you have completed one side, you want to remove this, um, and then rotate it and move it to this side. You need to make sure the edges are lined up exactly, now that this is glued on, I can start putting the pins in on this side, which I will do now. When you have finished placing all the pins in, you will need to remove this. This may be a little difficult. Uh, the glue is likely to stick to this instead of the actual ring. And you should be left with something resembling a kind of rather deranged frisbee. When you have removed this, you will want to take your diagram and start counting the pins. We have our starting point. Choose a starting pin. I don't know if you can see, but if, uh, you, if you get the diagram off the internet, you will be able to see that this here is the first wire. This thick black wire here and this thick black wire there are either ends of the first wire. So these are one coil. These dotted lines here are the other coil. We will start by building the first coil. So you need to pick a pin and attach a wire. Now I have a whole lot of copper wire. This has no dents in it or kinks. Um, I, got, I removed this from the negative ground on the front of a vacuum tube on a TV screen. You do not want any damage in the insulation. You need to be sure that you have enough of it and that it will also fit through the hole because though this looks pretty big, when you're filling it with wire it will actually only be about here 
Now this I know will fit through because it will fit through my last one. So this is still this is just small enough to fit through. You can see how much the copper came in because the copper is not wound circularly. I pushed all my pins quite far in, but for clarity, uh, we will pull out quite a distance this first pin here. This will be where we attach the wire.